Warning, this Big Brother podcast contains spoilers. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the SCN TV podcast for Big Brother Season 17, uh, episode 4, August 13th, 2015. I'm your host, Dom. With me, my co-hosts, Luke. Welcome to the special double eviction episode of Big Brother. And Erica. How's it going? Very good. A good ending to the week. And um, just on a special note, it was a live double eviction tonight in the Big Brother house. A week's worth of Big Brother in just one hour as we recounted from last week's episodes, Becky, as head of household, has nominated both Vanessa, no, I'm sorry, Shelly, and Steve for eviction. Naturally, Steve had won the power of veto and saved himself, leaving Vanessa as a replacement nominee. Tonight, on the special live double eviction episode, by a vote of 8 to 0, Shelly... You are evicted from the Big Brother house. See, now I was completely shocked. I know, I know, Erica. You're talking. You're talking last night um, about how people were were gunning for Shelley, and I was convinced the house was going to flip again. Well, but it didn't. The, this time, I think I, I had a feeling the house was going to flip to really gun for Shelley because um, I did read some spoilers from the live feeds and from the fan groups, so. I could assume, and my assumptions were right, that Shelley was the potential target to be evicted from the Big Brother house and sent packing to jury. Because as they you know, really... tonight are the first two people to enter the jury house. <laughs> so. Erica? Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, um, the feed right off, uh, like from what Erica was saying yesterday, um, it seemed like somebody was going through and um uh what was it shelly was going through clay's bag to try to find uh a shirt or not clay's bag james's bag to try to find a shirt or whatever and it was riling the house up um and all kinds of stuff like that but um i'm not uh i'm not really sure what happened happened with that because they didn't show any of that so no they didn't unless you look at big brother after dark or the life feeds like erica does then i think that we'd be able to see the better picture of as to why that shelly was the potential target and not vanessa so technically vanessa i could see in my opinion vanessa did go up as a pawn next to shelly yeah i mean that's my opinion i I could be wrong but getting on with tonight after shelly was sent packing from the big brother house it was a battle for head of household, and a big congratulations to Steve. He was the second HOH of the evening. He had a big decision to make within minutes. And for his decisions, on a, not a personal level, but a game move, he has nominated Meg and Jackie for eviction. Minutes later, the power of veto was played. John, having won the power of veto, has decided not to use it leaving by a vote of six to one jackie you are evicted from the big brother house yeah i i don't know i was completely shocked by this i i I, that was a that was a blind side to me because i really thought even though he was going to put them up as just a gameplay i really thought that when i saw him and johnny strategizing in the in the hammock room that i think they were potentially gunning for a back door cuz i know steve wasn't really on potentially good terms with becky so i figured he was going to back door becky but obviously that wasn't the plan and obviously the amazing race star was evicted from the big brother house in a surprising level and i'm happy meg is there because i love meg she's awesome she is a cool girl i really want to s- and without Jason being in the house, I really think she's bringing the entertainment into the game as a second potential entertainer. And a happy birthday to Jason. Today yeah. is Jason's birthday. Um, 
I, I'm assuming he's 26 now because he was 25 on entry into the house. Yeah. So it, I'm assuming today is his 26th birthday. Yeah, that would be a good assumption. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I was just completely, like, shocked. I don't know what Steve's, uh, manu like, what his motive was. Like, he, he said uh, some like, um, what was it, Jackie said that uh, the rumor was going around that he, uh, she was planning to backdoor Steve. That's why Steve put her up and miscommunication yes, but, but that somewhere. Was, but that's, like, that's what, what? I was saying, that was a miscommunication. Yeah, there. but that's just so random. Like, uh, what, we just got like, through this whole last right? week of Steve going. Becky's my target. She's going yep. home. I can't wait to win head of household and then put Becky up and throw her out, get her out of the yeah, house. And that makes like, that what makes the no hell sense. Just happened. That was a total blind side to me. Like, okay, Becky was your target. I want to know what changed his mind. I mean, it's a mystery of what's going through the house guests' heads right now. It's, I, I don't know. I mean, it was a blind sight to me, and I'm sure it was a blind. And as you said, it was a blind sight to you, and I'm assuming for Erica, it was too. Yeah, I mean, like the the whole thing. Like we saw Steve and Johnny Mac talking. So if if Steve's plan was to backdoor Becky, he would have told uh, Johnny Mac to use the veto, and Becky was going to go home, and it would have saved whoever but right. i don't know is johnny mac and becky that close it, i don't know you know what i think they are because they have gotten close within the game and he was aligned with wasn't he aligned he was aligned with becky shelly and clay so it was obvious yeah i guess i don't know but i, I don't know i mean you know something steve could have just told him the plan and then uh, uh johnny mac was you like i don't want becky to go home so he probably didn't change the nominations right and you know what else is why you know potentially why I think I know why Steve made this move at putting Meg and Jackie up on the block because he sees them as a non-threat. I mean, this is another personal opinion, but would you consider them floaters? Do you think he wanted to put two floaters up and not get any blood on his hands? No, I, Steve doesn't really know what the hell's going on in this game to begin with. I think he's playing a random game, Steve. Like Steve, It's not that it's have, random. Have Steve, no, 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 but have you seen Steve in the last few weeks of the house... He, he's so random. Like, I, I'm like him in some ways. I talk to myself. I do weird stuff, too. I mean, I'm strange, too. I'm not going to lie. I talk to myself. I'm not going to lie about that. I talk to, I randomly will talk to a camera or something like that. But, you know, something. You're it's just like talking to a camera right now. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's a random, it's like he's playing a random game. Like, Steve, why are you playing a random game? You're supposed to be strategizing here like the other house guests. The, the point of being on Big Brother is to make power moves. And yeah. if you're playing a random game, that's obviously going to land you in hot water. I don't think it's a random game. He, he's he got um, intentions behind him, but he's not playing the same game as everybody in the no, house. That's the problem. I think he's kind of wearing a mask over his intentions. No, I don't think... You're looking too deep into it. I don't think that that's it at all. He's He's got he's got an idea of who he wants out. He wanted Jackie out because he felt Jackie was a threat to his game. And that's really all it comes down to. And but Becky, in reality... She wasn't. So it was just like a complete and utter, like, I don't know what the hell. Like, Erica, you have, do you have any clue what Steve's motivation was here? It seemed, to me, it just seemed like random left field thing. Yeah. Like, like y'all are just saying, he's, he's been going for weeks saying he wants Becky out. He wants Becky out. Becky's his target. Then he gets two shots to take her out and, you know, misses both. So. Yeah, I, like, well, I, wonder, I don't you know, know what's going on. I, I don't. I... Yeah. What were you saying, Luke? Well, I don't understand either. I mean, unless he was lying to a uh, lying about, you know, targeting Becky, he could have been at least lying because maybe he's hiding behind a mask as to who he secretly wants out of the game. But remember, I, even though these I don't are the think he's that smart. He's smart, but I don't think he's smart. so smart that he's making these complex moves. No, no. You know what? He's book smart, and you know what? Steve kind of reminds me of Ian Terry. I don't know why. To a degree, um, but like, what Ian, was it yesterday? Ian had, Ian's yes. kind, Ian is the nervous type, but he also is a fast strategizer. Yeah, but yesterday we had um, when when Becky. It was either yesterday or Sunday. I don't remember which. Uh, she called herself Basic Becky, and there was the hashtag Basic Becky. That, yeah. That's where Steve's mentality is. He's very just, he's basic. He thinks he's super complex, and he's got everything under strategy, and he knows everything that's going on, but he doesn't. He's playing the basic game. That, that's the problem. He's and playing it at face and, value. He's not playing with strategy. He's playing with who he thinks is against him, not who he thinks is a threat to the 
overall game. He's picking out, like, Jackie, who could never in a million years win Big Brother. No. And and Meg, who is in the exact same boat. Like, neither Jackie or Meg were anywhere near winning this game. And he throws the two of them on. Now, that has no strategy whatsoever to it. His strategy was, I don't, I don't know the reasoning for Meg, but for Jackie, I, I kind of get it, because Steve's playing the game personally. That's Steve's issue. Mm-hmm. Um, but you like, don't play this game personally. That'll land you in hot water. Oh, exactly. But, see, I'm going to look here. I, I had uh, Evil Dick. I was looking at him on, uh, on Twitter through all this. And uh, so Evil Dick said, Steve making a big impact on the game by evicting nothing but a vote. Steve should have called his mommy. <laughs> well, you know what? He is entitled. Well, I, I agree with Evil Dick. It's a personal opinion. I mean, look at Meg. I mean, look how upset she is. I mean, you know what? I almost got emotional when I saw Meg crying because I like Meg. Yeah. I think she's a cool girl. I think she's happy-go-lucky. I, and she's a city girl. You know, she's cool. I could see her as the type cool to hang out with, always finding something to do. I, I like Meg. Yeah. If Meg doesn't win the game, I'm voting for her, Jason, and see. I uh, think I'm uh, well for the for the for the three for the three that are up for America's favorite house guest choice. I'm voting for Jason, uh, uh, Davon, and Meg. Mm. See, I think what what Steve was trying to do is he was trying to put somebody nice against uh, Jackie. Like he assumed everybody was going to keep Meg, and then. His plan was probably to take uh, Becky out, and right. Johnny Mac probably refused to use the power veto because he didn't want somebody else to go up. Because he so, didn't know it would go up because it's a last minute thing. It's a week's worth of Big Brother in one hour. He yeah, doesn't know. So it's going up. I think I think his plan, Steve's plan, was to either replace Meg with Becky and have one of the those two people that he doesn't want in the house to go home, or replace you know. Um, Jackie with with Becky and then everybody still would have voted Becky out over over Meg so I think Meg was just the pawn regardless uh, I think that was her reason for going up but uh, I think it was just it came down to Steve's backdoor plan failed and it just looked like the worst move I've seen uh, this entire game it's right. a wrong move the entire game was for the past season now yeah so I think Vanessa uh, just elevated herself to like front runner to win this game like if they don't evict her soon she's gonna win she's going to win and you guys i'm assuming you the both of you don't want to see her win i want vanessa to win i want vanessa to win from the beginning i've always liked her i could honestly see right now i'm not a psychic but i am gonna like be in total shock my prediction is that vanessa and james are gonna be in the final two or James and John. That's who I'm seeing right now in the final two. One of that. One of the two. Yeah, Erica. Who do you see in the final three? In the final three, at least. Yeah, the final three. I think be Vanessa, James, and John. That's who I. They're those just, are the exact three people I want to see. Those, that's the three. I mean, and out of the three, I don't really care which one wins because they've all played oh, know, exceptionally game. well. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see. I really don't want to see anyone else in the house in those three slots. Yeah, I don't either. So, Me neither. Like, um, Who do you like want to see? Meg when wouldn't be. Meg would be a waste. Becky wouldn't would be a waste. Becky would be a train wreck. Uh, yeah, the literally. Train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, America's favorite house guest. Yeah, uh, I I like to have support from the game. Are they community. still doing that? I'd like to see Jason win America's favorite. They do house. that every year, but it's kind of downplayed. Yeah, because this year they're not doing the voting. Is this? Did they do this last year too? I, like I don't remember last year now. Did because I I definitely noticed this year they're not doing the phone voting. Call no, you know this no, number, they, text no, this number, whatever. No, starting last year they didn't they didn't do that. Okay, you so had it to, last it's year all too. it's all authenticated through your Facebook account now. Okay, yeah. so well, they were still advertising it on the show last year, though. Um, this year, they're not mentioning it at all. Right. So. Yeah, because they, all all those votes and all those those things that you used to see advertised, now they're they're special benefits for uh, CBS All Access subscribers. Oh, okay. You get like when you watch the uh, watch the live feeds, every once in a while there'll be a question to pop up and say, "Do you want to do this or this?" You know, 
do you want the house guests to have you know pickles or turnips or you know something stupid like that? oh so and, you you guys are doing that as the all access that's why we're not seeing that anymore yeah that's all all on on the the paid memberships now instead of just you know calling the phone number and that's I think actually that's really cool. They should have kept it the way it was. I'm no, sorry. I I think that's really cool. That gives a benefit. Like you as a subscriber, like you feel like you have more control and influence over the game. I actually like that. I, I I I think that's a very good move on CBS's part. I guess. I mean, I guess incentive to to think it is a way for CBS to make money. Well, of course, but they they got to give you an incentive to buy the the feeds too, and and. Uh, and a reward kind of like if you buy the feed and you get the, you know you get to watch the feeds that's cool and all but then if you feel like because you you purchased in and you're doing this that you have an impact over the game that feels more rewarding you know right so i think that's pretty cool um yeah so uh it looks like sunday show we're gonna find out who's head of household yep yeah they're probably going to do a partial flashback and show what was going on during the live show. Um, you know, like, oh, you know, moments before, you know, do that flashback thing and show exactly why Steve was picking. They'll probably show the conversation Steve and Johnny Mac had, you maybe know, to put everything we'll into perspective. Maybe that's where we'll get our answer as to why we're wondering where Steve's head's at in the game right now. So maybe we will get that answer on Sunday. Yeah. And then uh, we'll probably still get the veto, I'm assuming, on... Wednesday. Uh, on Wednesday, and then we'll we'll go with the eviction on on Thursday. Uh, yeah, Thursday, next Thursday. So. Yes. Uh, who do you who do you guys want to see uh, head of household this week? Vanessa. Yeah. Erica. No, I've, I've... Honestly, I want to see somebody like James or something win, or maybe maybe Julia or you know. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> something something to to throw it back off, you know, because you know the the main group won it for like four weeks in a row, and then now these other people have won it for two weeks in a row, and now just give it to somebody else that would be like, you know, what is this person gonna do? Yeah, well, Steve's not gonna be able to get it, so that leaves James, Vanessa, Becky, Johnny, Mac, Liz, Julia, Austin, and Meg. So. I out of all of those, the person that I don't want to see win is Meg. I absolutely don't want that. That that to me is worst case scenario. Uh, I don't want to see Becky get it again so soon, because yeah. then we're gonna end up with Vanessa home. I don't want Vanessa to go home. I think literally anybody else is probably not gonna put Vanessa up, um, except for Steve if he happens to win not next week but the week after. I could I I can't fucking tell with Steve anymore so. Um, you know, who, if it was possible, Steve would probably put himself up on the block. Like that, that's the, that's where I'm at right now in this game. Like, I don't understand Steve's motives. He would probably just put himself up. So I think I really want to see either Vanessa or James. Uh, I think that'll, I don't, I don't think Johnny Mac would, as much as I want Johnny Mac to win, I don't think now is a good time for him to win uh, ahead of household. Because that's only gonna that's that's only gonna leave. So it's like, who do you put up? Let's say let's say you're Vanessa, James, or Johnny Mac. Because those are the three I think have the 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 biggest potential of winning. Like, who do you put up in this case? You're gonna put up the two twins, like break up that power couple. Then you're gonna have Austin gunning for you, and the other twins. Yeah. So you 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 know you have that issue. Uh, you put Meg up. Really, nobody's gonna be gunning for you. So Meg's kind of the safe bet at this point. You can almost guarantee Meg's gonna be up on the block. Um, but, and, and then Becky, like, I see, I see Becky as the next one to go home. That, that could be, or the next one to go to jury. Becky, Becky and Meg would, are, are potentially, I think, the next two that can go home without getting blood on your hands. After that, it, it's gonna get, <laughs> it's gonna get nasty. It is. I'm just, I'm well, just yeah, sitting here yeah, reading what they're talking about right now. Oh, uh, what are they, what's going on in the house right now? Um... Meg is insanely angry at Steve because she told Steve, uh, he told, Steve told her multiple times that, that if he was to win, he would put up Austin and he put up Meg instead. Mm -hmm. Um, so James, is she yelling at him now? Well, she's, she's talking to James and James uh -oh. is saying that, that if anyone wins head of household, he's going up and 
You know, if anyone but him wins, he's going on the block. Uh, see her. So yeah, I guess the Vanessa is Vanessa too. tried to talk to Meg and was like. Like, you know, hey, this ain't my fault. I didn't have anything to do with this one. Yeah, I, I controlled the house the first few weeks, but I don't know what's in Steve's head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Right. So it's basically they're just damage control right now. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't I even Steve's think, got the, the biggest target on him right now. I don't even think the head of household competition has started yet. Jeez. Is it tonight the that they're week? doing it? Yeah, even though it's yeah not they'll do live. it tonight. Hmm. They'll do yeah, it tonight, and they'll do the... They'll do we'll the, have uh, the result veto tomorrow no do the nominations tomorrow and veto saturday right hmm. yeah so it, i'm assuming it's going to be a little more of an elaborate uh head of household than what we had for the competitions tonight um so they're probably still setting the backyard up because don't forget the backyard was split in half uh to do to set up for the the two different competitions um they right did the trivia one and then you know the memory wall loop which i don't know I, I don't particularly care for those. I think those competitions are a little easy, in my opinion. Um, yeah. And then uh, I liked I liked the the game that they played uh, tonight, but uh, we've seen that as a much more um, complex game, where there's it was more sensitive and more obstacles. Um, tonight it looked like uh, it was just a big rush through the 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 game and. They gave him a three-minute time limit to complete the whole thing, so I was like, "Eh, interesting." So right. But uh, I think that about does it. You guys have anything else uh, before we end this? Be a fly yeah. on the wall inside the Big Brother house. Watch the house guests anytime with the live feeds on CBS.com, and be sure to tune in every Wednesday and Thursday night. After the show with Big Brother historians Dom Greco, Luke Labagnera, and Erica Rain on the As Seen on TV channel on YouTube for events taking place inside the Big Brother house. Uh, Erica, you had something? I was just about to say it popped up again. Uh, Meg just said, I said, uh, I should have gone. You would have had a better luck winning if Jackie was here. Mm. Which is kind of why Jackie left. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yep, that about does it. Erica, where can the people find you? On Twitter at EricaRain7. Excellent. Uh, Luke, where can the people find you? On Twitter at Zupa23. Excellent. You can find me down below at Phenomenon, P H E N O M E D O M. Uh, you can also find us all on Facebook, Gmail, G, Twitter, <coughs> MySpace, and, uh, Right here on YouTube at slash ASO TV podcast for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Till uh, next week. From outside the Big Brother house, we are Dom Greco, Luke Labagnera, and Erica Rain. Good night. I would rather be in the house. Why, don't, why do we always have to be outside the house? Well, like Julie Chen's dialogue from outside, we're not in the house, so for but, technical. But I want to be in the house. Okay, from inside the Big Brother house. 